Just like I mentioned in the previous lesson, we are going to be building this application from beginning to end with no steps skipped. And this application is going to be a list of students that we are going to be able to assess student data from a HTML page. We are going to be able to add a new student. For instance, you have this button here. We are going to be able to edit student list, uh, student data and update, and we are able to delete student as well. So everything is here. We are going to start from the step one in this tutorial. Now, what we are going to be doing today is a little setup. So now you already also know that we are going to be learning a whole lot of technology. So I actually have broken it down into chunks. As I mentioned before, you already know what time leap is. So I'm not going to be reading it for you at this time. And you also have in this lesson, we are going to set up MySQL and set up Spring Tool Suite. If you already have them, you can skip. Meanwhile, I'm not actually going to be doing these things in this tutorial. I'm going to actually take you to the download page and then uh, show you how to download it and then show you actually the application when it opens up. So if you go to MySQL uh, website, you can actually see the download page and you can download the community edition for free, right? Good. So just click on the download. After it downloads, follow the steps to install it. And then one thing about MySQL installation, I'm going to show you, you need to actually know which port it is running on. So if you if you go to the MySQL after you've installed it and you go to, let's say you have Workbench, so you can actually find out which port it is running on and keep that in mind because we are going to be using this port number when we actually be setting up MySQL, uh, when we are going to be creating a database. Then you have Spring Tool Suits, so you can see MySQL and you can see the port here is written 3301, right? So that you need to keep in mind. So this MySQL workbench, we are going to be talking about it a little later. So make sure you install MySQL, make sure you're able to access the MySQL workbench. Then as for Spring Tool Suite, I'm going to also, okay. So when you click on this button, it actually starts downloading as you can see. But since I've downloaded it, I'm going to stop it. So after downloading Spring Tool Suite, it, you don't have to install it. You simply need to unzip it, unzip the, unzip the file because it's downloaded at a zip folder. And then inside the, this folder, you will see the Spring, uh, Spring Tool Suite application. So let me just show you. For my own installation, I have it, I think I should have it in the drive D. So. So you have the, this is how it comes. So I unzipped it, as you can see here. And when you open it, you see STS bundle and you go to STS release and you can see the STS. So what you can do is to right click on it and just say send to and then create a shortcut on your desktop. So you create a shortcut on your desktop, you can easily open it uh, every time. So you don't have to actually install it. So if you've done all these things, that is fine. We are now ready to start on the next part and that is setting up uh, the first project using Spring Initializer. So let's proceed to the next step. 